Okay, I'm gonna try a little higher resolution on the monitor. And uh, my last video, if you saw it, we set up WSJTX and downloaded, installed it, set it up for the ICOM 7300. And uh, one add on here is JT Bridge. And what JT Bridge allows you to do is to log right into MacLogger DX. That's one benefit. I'll put the download link in the comments below. Just go to the JT Bridge website, click on download. You'll see I already have it going the top right corner of the screen. I have some alerts coming in. Once it's downloaded, just click on the icon and you'll notice it there in the downloads folder. All I did was go to the finder and then to downloads and I drug JT Bridge over to my applications and since I already have it in there I'm going to hit stop but uh, that's where it uh, resides and I also have it down on my dock I drug it and put it down on the dock so I can access it easily so let's take a look at it this is what it looks like what I do is open up JT Bridge and then WSJTX and in the last video you saw how I set up WSJTX when I open up JT Bridge I go up to view and I select this and that brings up this window down here so when I click on a call sign in the window here or here the call goes down into these fields and I'm able to see the name and the location and when I log the QSO it puts that information into MacLogger DX so here we have it we got WSJTX I'm doing a little decoding on 20 meters I'm operating split mode and on my radio real important on the radio uh, if you hit the function button on the ICOM 7300 you can turn off the noise reduction turn off the noise blanker and turn AGC off and when I do that I get a, a real nice wide graph up here waterfall I don't think I had to adjust these sliders hardly any they are very touchy but I love the waterfall the graphics is just fantastic on the Mac let's see what we get here I see uh, somebody from Cuba calling CQ and we'll see what we get out of this next round I'm using one cable just the USB cable MacLogger DX I have the radio disconnected let's see what comes up here and then I'll go over oh look there's Columbia just double click on it and I start transmitting I'm running 10 watts let me show you what MacLogger DX looks like I have the radio it's disconnected right now because in WSJTX I am using the radio in preferences I'm using that uh, COM port and the ICOM 7300 as the rig so if I had it enabled in MacLogger DX I would get a uh, conflict there so that's a real simple way to do it let's see what happens let's see if I can get this contact here just 10 watts bands haven't been in all that great a shape I've noticed that it's difficult for me to make contacts uh, this last week uh, using 5 or 10 watts but usually in the states I can uh, make the contacts pretty easily looks like he's coming back to somebody or he's calling CQ again 
see down here I can see uh, with this window open and again going up to view and selecting this with this window open I can see his name and his location also see uh, what his signal report is going to be I'm going to go ahead and select it just in case you can tell the distance JT Bridge has a lot of nice features and if you go into uh, the JT Bridge preferences you can set those up uh, see so he's coming back to somebody else so I'm going to hit halt let me show you what I have uh, set up in JT Bridge. Go underneath Preferences and under the General tab, I have these selections. Under Network. I don't have a cat connection. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner of the JT Bridge window that nothing is connected there. Just using WSJTX, the digital modes. Here are my notifications that determines uh, what's going to pop up in the window. Well, I was going to click on that, but I was a little late. A look up is from uh, QRZ. And I have the columns in here. I could take a few of these out, probably. And here are the macros. And I was a little confused about the macros. I set them up, and then I didn't see them show up anywhere. And uh, where they show up is in this window. You can see the buttons down here. I have to be careful when I use those though. If I'm going to use it in this field, I wait until it's my turn to transmit. And then I hit the button, the macro button, and it'll transmit it. Oh, there's somebody uh, calling, see, er, calling me, so let me see if I can get him. That's interesting. He must have saw me on uh, the network. Ham Spots, I believe it is. It's a website uh, you can go to. Hamspots.net Or he might have saw me calling the Columbia Station. He's got a good strong signal, so I'll probably get him. Then I can show you what it looks like when you log into MacLogger DX. We can also try one of these macro buttons down here. If I copy a signal uh, report, I'll go ahead and send him a Roger, 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 R, R, R. This is his signal in the waterfall. That's a good strong signal. When I'm operating in split mode and I'm off of this frequency from 1500 to 2000, like where I am right now, I'll actually transmit on uh, 14.075.5. Let's see if we can see that. Alright, I got a signal report from him. I'm going to send him a Roger, Roger, Roger. And watch the uh, frequency over here. See it change. That's because I'm operating in split. And according to the developer of WSJTX and other people, you transmit a cleaner signal when you use split operation.
my next transmission is going to be here but I'm going to use one of these macros and it's okay for me to go ahead and click on it now but I don't want to click on it when I'm transmitting because then it'll switch over when I click on that macro button you'll notice the uh, icon for WSJTX start bouncing and to stop it just click on WSJTX this window and it stops it okay so that was W4RQ Richard in Florida and when I send him the 73 it's gonna go ahead and bring up the window to log the QSO I got a 73 from him okay good contact got the 10 watts in there don't need to put his name in that field I can clear this field and what I like to put in there is MacLogger DX WSJTX and uh, uh, JT Bridge and I'd like to retain that so uh, I keep uh, keep that in and the next time I don't have to enter it but I've noticed that each time I uh, log a QSO the uh, signal report still pops up in there so I don't know how to fix that if you got any ideas how I can re retain this in the comments uh, let me know and uh, we'll definitely pass it along so after I have that in there all I have to do is click OK and it should go ahead and log into uh, MacLogger DX Okay, there he is. It took a second there, but I got the indicator up here. Notification, the QSO was logged. And I think on mine it takes a few seconds because it's a slower computer. And sometimes uh, well, I've got this uh, program running in the background for the screen capture the OBS software that makes it slower normally it doesn't take that long it's uh, it's immediate but uh, I'm also doing automatic or real-time uploads to QRZ and the other logs that I have and then I have this one for Twitter and I just click post and uh, it tweets and tells me it went to Twitter got a picture uh, of Richard there and a uh, real nice program just beautiful uh, I really do, uh, I love the maps, and I can see where he is, where he's located, uh, my location on the globe, and then his location uh, uh, down here, so I can see where he is in Florida. Uh, just a fantastic program, MacLogger DX, and I uploaded to the most recent version, 6.1, or 6.1. And uh, really enjoying MacLogger DX. So that's how it works with WSJTX JT Bridge MacLogger DX. That's the way that I'm using it. Uh, that'll do it for this uh, video. Please uh, visit my website www.k0pir.us. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some useful information from this. Best 73 and good DX.